My name is Hua Tai Xu. I am a research associate in Dr. Song Hai Xi's laboratory at Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center. Today, I will introduce you to our study recently published in Cell, entitled "Distinct Lineage-Dependent Structural and Functional Organization of the Kip Campus." The Kip Campus is essential for memory formation and spatial navigation. It has been extensively studied in modern neuroscience. But the organizing principle of this structure remains largely unknown. In this study, we explored the role of lineage relationship in the construction of the hippocampus. The hippocampus and the neocortex are the two major parts of the cerebral cortex. They arise from the dorsal telencephalon, and they are both defined by a similar set of transcription factors. However, as development proceeds, They diverge substantially, both structurally and functionally. It is evident that the lineage relationship plays a critical role in defining the structural and functional organization of the neocortex, which brings up a very interesting question: What is the role of lineage relationship in the hippocampus? To address this question. We use the cell type-specific retrovirus and meta methods to genetically label clonally related pyramid cells in the Kip campus. Interestingly, we found that such the pyramid cells clustered horizontally but not vertically in the striatum pyramidal. Next, we followed the progressive development of this unique lineage distribution pattern. We found that during the early embryonic stage, before E16, the hippocampal clones are very similar to those in the neocortex. Daughter cells are vertically aligned around the radial glial fiber of the mother progenitor cell. However, starting from E16, we noticed that there is progressive bending of the radial glial fiber in the hippocampus, but not in the neocortex. Our live imaging study suggested. That the bending of the radial glial fiber facilitates the transition from vertical to horizontal distribution of clonally related pyramid cells in the hippocampus. Given that sister pyramid cells form local clusters in the hippocampus, we asked whether they preferentially develop synapses with each other, similar to sister cells in the neocortex. To address this, we performed quadruple whole cell patch clamp recordings from hippocampal slices, and found that there are no preferential connections between them. However, interestingly, while sister pyramid cells in CA1 do not preferentially develop synapses with each other, we found that they exhibit synchronized spontaneous activity, and this synchronicity is quite specific between sister cells. Furthermore, we identified that the synchronous events are mediated by synaptic GABA A receptors. To further uncover the underlying circuit basis of this lineage-dependent synchronicity, we performed another set of quadruple whole cell recordings on two sister pyramid cells, one nearby non-sister pyramid cell, as well as one nearby interneuron, and examined the connectivity among them. Remarkably, we found that. Sister pyramid cells are more likely co-innervated by nearby interneurons. Moreover, there is strong interneuron subtype specificity. Only fast spiking, but not non-fast spiking interneurons, effectively provide such common input. In summary, we found that sister pyramid cells in the hippocampus form horizontal clusters in the striatum pyramidal. Without preferentially developing synaptic connections, but with more synchronized spontaneous activity, which is probably due to the common inhibitory synaptic input from nearby fast spiking interneurons. Our study demonstrates that the lineage relationship of excitatory neurons has fundamental influences on the structural and functional organization of the cortex, with different parts having different manifestations. In the neocortex, sister pyramid cells are vertically aligned, preferentially develop synaptic connections, and share similar physiological properties. 
By contrast, in the hippocampus, sister pyramidal cells are horizontally distributed and do not preferentially develop connections, but receive common inhibitory synaptic input. It will be interesting in the future to understand the physiological implication of the lineage-dependent organization in the hippocampus. We want to thank everyone and the funding agencies who made our study possible. Thank you very much for watching, and please refer to the paper for further details.